So today I visited the Columbus Metropolitan Library, the North Side Branch on High Street, and I personally thought it was a great library. Uh, when I walked in um, to the children's section, obviously one of the first things you see are children's books that help ch children to learn, including the uh, books for about ABCs, uh, one, two, threes. But then you look to the right, and then as soon when you walk in, as soon as you look to the right, you see a Spanish section. And I personally thought that this was a fantastic section to have there because I personally do not remember growing up walking into a library and seeing a book uh, a book section in the children's section about Spanish books. And that wasn't all. Surprisingly, this library was fairly diverse. For being located in an area where I thought was predominantly white, this library had a wide variety of books focusing on different races. Uh, so I'll list off some of the books that were present there. You can see by some of these pictures of the books that were on the shelves. Some of these books include uh, Everyone is Represented, Grace for, uh, Grace for President, Four Feet, Two Sandals, The Clever Tailor, Marvelous Cornelius, A Visit to Granddad, An African ABC, A Boy Like You, and You Are Extraordinary. The first several books I mentioned all focus on different different cultures, different races, and showing how they fit into society. While the last several books, A Boy Like You and You Are Extraordinary, focus on being yourself. These books exemplify being unique, and I think they do a great job of tackling one of the topics we heard in a TED Talk earlier in the year, two times in fact, the TED Talk about the danger of a single story. Like I said, some of these books focus on being unique, while some exemplify diversity, especially Grace for President. Grace for President is a story about a young black girl who is very surprised when she finds out that there have been no female presidents in the United States, and then she immediately starts off her political career as a candidate at the school's mock election. I think all of these books, without diving too deep into any of them, provide a great outlook on different cultures and different pe people of different diversity in society <clears throat> and they combat the danger of a single story they don't provide one outlook on life like many books uh, for a lot of kids growing up around the world growing up uh, reading stories about young american kids or young english english kids written by white authors so overall i thought this library was a fantastic library it represented a lot of cultures a lot of people of different backgrounds and does a great job of combating the danger of a single story I felt like everyone at this library mattered. Everyone who was depicted mattered. All the voices around the world are amplified, and everyone is being celebrated in this children's section. Not one specific race, not one specific gender, not one people of any specific background, but all people were celebrated at this library, which makes it a fantastic library, and I would definitely recommend for kids to go there.